Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Friday. So it is weigh-in day, we're gonna talk about my week. I had a little bit of a non-scale victory, I had a little bit of a terrible weigh-in and we're gonna talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic and we'll set some goals for next week. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a weigh-in every single Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box I will have nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, we would love to have you. So let's talk about my NSV, my week, my terrible weigh-in and this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. Hope you had an amazing, amazing week. Overall, I had a really good week. The scale this week did not like me, so we're gonna talk about that. But before we jump into my weigh-in, my week, like I said, overall was really good. I had a pretty good NSV. This last Sunday, I ran a 5K in Tucson called the Tucson TMC, which stands for Tucson Medical Center. This is their annual 5K, 10K. I did the 5K. I did this run last year, and this is a challenging run. It's very hilly. You go pretty much uphill for the first half of the 5K and then obviously downhill with a little bit of, of shifts of hills on the second half of the 5K. Although it's hilly, the course is beautiful. You get to see the mountains. The weather was spectacular. My really good friend Lisa did her first ever 5K with me. She's my Tumamak buddy. We climbed Tumamak a lot together, but we did the 5K together as well as some of the girls from my boot camp group. It, like I said, it was a beautiful morning. It was a challenging 5K, but I did it and I'm proud of myself. I have the shirt and the medal to prove it and I'm just really proud of that non-scale victory. Every time I complete a run, whether it's a 5K or a 10K, it's just one of those NSVs that really just hits home for me because there's no way I could have ever done that in the past. Never, ever, ever. And now I'm consistently doing them once a month or so. And I'm really, really, really proud of that. I also got in all three of my boot camp workouts, did both of my train well workouts. Normally Tuesdays and Sundays are my rest day, but since I did the run on Sunday, it was an active day for me. I oftentimes I will take a walk on Sunday and I consider it more of an active rest day. It just kind of depends on what my Sunday looks like, but I got in six full days of exercise this last week, really focused on my one up nutrition creatine, my pure rebuild, because that really helps with muscle recovery and soreness got in my water, amped up my protein, amped up my carbohydrate since I was so active. I wanted to make sure I ate enough carbs to fuel my body. And I just feel good food-wise, activity-wise when it came to my week. There were a few days this week that I felt really blech, like really bloated, uncomfortably bloated. I mean, bloated enough that my belly was distended. And I figured out it was because I'm approaching my cycle. As of today, I'm just a couple of days out from my cycle. And about a week out, that's when I start noticing the bloating, the really uncomfortable meh feeling. And then as I get closer to my cycle, that's when I typically am in my leanest weight. And then when I set, start my cycle, it all just kind of levels out. Maybe I'm weird, but for me, it's about the week before that I really struggle with the bloating. And I felt really terrible a lot of days this last week as far as that was concerned. But I just stayed the course. Ate the foods I knew I needed to eat. I know my body. I actually track my cycle so I know when it's going to start so I can be aware of weight fluctuations and kind of weird things that happen with my body. So that was kind of a negative this week, but overall I feel like I had a really good week. Like I said, I did not have a good weigh-in. We'll get to that next, but first, but first, let's talk about the Weight Watchers workshop topic because this one speaks right to my heart, and that is why weight training is so good for you. I can't tell you how much of a cardio queen I was before I realized that weight training was way more impactful and way more beneficial, way healthier, and better for my weight loss journey than cardio. To this day, I don't do any structured cardio. The only cardio I do is what comes in the form of boot camp. And boot camp's actually HIIT training. So there's weights involved and there's cardio. You don't have to do cardio to reach your weight loss goals. Strength training really is the key to success. It enhances the quality of your life. It can regulate your hormones. It can help tone up and firm up your body with weight loss. And strength training is the number one reason that your metabolism is boosted. So the higher your metabolism, the more successful you are on your weight loss journey. 
and it also helps regulate your hormones. So if you're like me and you're in perimenopause, strength training can help kind of regulate things out. It is so incredibly beneficial. Let's talk about six reasons why strength training is a must. Number one, keeps your ticker ticking. If you lift weights, your heart will thank you. Resistance training can help lower your blood pressure, which can also lower your risk of heart disease. Where the angle of your joint doesn't change, such as holding yourself in a plank position, may be most beneficial for lowering systolic blood pressure, the top number of your blood pressure test. Number two, strengthens your bones. Approximately 10 million Americans have osteoporosis and another 44 million have low bone density, which increases their risk of disease. Sometimes losing a lot of weight or shedding pounds quickly can have a negative effect on your bone density in older adults. We want to promote a safe rate of weight loss, which is no more than two pounds per week, which helps protect our bone health, especially if combined with strength training, which research has suggested can help maintain and possibly improve bone density even during weight loss. Number three, it lowers your diabetes risk. Type 2 diabetes is a serious health condition that's reaching epidemic proportions. It in increases in muscle mass and stronger mitochondria, the energy center of cells, as a result of intense long-term personalized resistance training programs, may positively impact insulin responsiveness and glucose control in some individuals with type 2 diabetes and helps prevent type 2 diabetes. Number four, and the one we're all after, and this is support of our weight loss goals. If you're trying to lose weight, resistance training can be a helpful addition to a healthy diet and exercise routine. The average weight training routine will help you look and feel leaner, but it won't necessarily change the number on the scale. This is because muscle is denser and more metabolic tissue than fat. Strength training develops muscle mass. The more muscle you have, the harder your body is working to burn calories at rest. Think of this as getting an extra bang for all the hard work you've done in the gym. Number five, have energy and strength to do what you love. Strength training not only improves body composition, which can affect health in positive ways, but it also improves other areas of your life. Maybe you're a runner and you want to not get sore at the end of every race, or maybe you played sports and want to get faster. Whatever it is, strength training will make you more resilient for the everyday demands of life. And number six, Feel more confident. Let's face it, resistance training is hard work and it forces you to push your limits, but it's worth it for how great you'll feel about yourself as a result. There's nothing more empowering than getting your first pull up or doing a perfect push up. Strength training is a great way to chase your performance goals. So I want to deep dive into these six things because as I'm reading through these, I'm, I'm honestly getting a little bit emotional because all six of these completely resonate with me and I have personal story and experience with all six of these things. First, let's talk about keeping your ticker ticking. And this is going to relate with a few of these. About a year ago, actually a year in November ago, I had a DEXA scan. A DEXA scan basically scans for bone density, but it also tells you your fat versus muscle ratio, takes into account all of your bones and muscles as a portion of your weight. Now, if you follow me and you watch these weigh-in videos, you know I weigh a lot. I weigh between 185 and 190. I'm five foot eight, which is overweight on the BMI chart, but that's because I have a lot of lean muscle. And because I work out regularly, my heart is extremely, extremely healthy. Also, the DEXA scan showed that my bone density was above average. And this is really important to me because my mom actually was diagnosed a year ago with osteoporosis. And because my bone density is above average, I'm at a way less risk of that, which is amazing because osteoporosis can be a genetic disease. And because the DEXA scan showed that I had more muscle than fat, I'm at a lower risk of developing diabetes all of these things just from regularly strength training. It has helped me lose weight and because of strength training regularly and moving my body regularly, I've increased my metabolism. And now at maintenance, I can eat upwards of 3,000 calories and maintain my weight. When I was just doing Weight Watchers and eating 1,000 calories a day, I would have never been able to maintain my weight. I was damaging my metabolism every single day. And that's exactly why I recommend having your macros done. It's a service I offer. It has changed so many lives. My included. It told me, girl, you need to eat more calories and more protein. And as soon as I did that, as soon as I upped my calories and my protein, I lost 90 pounds in one year and have since maintained my weight for almost two years now, all because I ate more protein and calories and did some strength training. I have a lot more energy and strength than I ever thought that I would have. I can plank like nobody's business. I have the endurance of an athlete 
athlete. Actually, Julia, my boot camp instructor, she always is like, girl, I don't know how you do it. You are an anomaly that you can stay in zone one on a five mile hike, that you can climb Tumamak Mountain in 25 minutes and barely break a sweat. These are all things that have developed from moving my body, especially from strength training. And it's just reshaped my body with my massive, massive, massive weight loss. You're not going to get rid of all loose skin. I have tons of it on my thighs. I have tons of it on my stomach. I still have some of my arms, but you can fill some of that loose skin in with lean muscle, which comes from strength training. And last but not least, confidence. This is where it really just hits home for me. I am such a, I am a much more confident person now. I'm not embarrassed of myself anymore. I'm not embarrassed to go out in public. I can wear anything that I want and feel confident. My life has drastically changed from my weight loss, but it has changed even more from consistently strength training. And I'm not talking about 150 pound deadlifts. Like I said, light weights, lots of reps, just get in there and strength train so you can change your body, you can up your metabolism, you can reach your weight loss goals, and you can be more confident. And I'm telling you, confidence is something I lacked for the majority of my life when I was overweight. And it's really the one thing I'm most proud of to this day, that I boosted my confidence in myself. I'm proud of who I am as a person inside and out and that's huge sorry <laughs> okay it really hit home for me, like I said, just reading through these things because I have experienced all of these. And this is why I strength train, this is why I move my body. So if you are struggling with this aspect, if you don't know where to start with strength training, or maybe you feel like your current strength training routine isn't working for you, you guys try train well. I've been using it for a year now, I love it. It has changed my workout routine, it has changed my strength. I have upped my weight several times. I'm stronger than I've ever been, I'm more consistent than I've ever been, and I have a free 14 day trial. Just try it out. If you don't like it, you don't have to continue, no obligation, but I'm telling you, but I don't know a single person who's tried it for 14 days that hasn't fallen in love with it just like I have. That is what I have done to really change my strength training routine. So I will link train well, free 14 days, talk to a coach, get a workout, see if it's for you. Just try it out. I promise you, if you enjoy it, it's going to be the most affordable way to consistently strength train and reach your goals. So I really like this topic, as you know, as you know, it made me a little emotional, but I feel, but I'm so excited that we're discussing this and that Weight Watchers is focusing on it because it's game changing. So let's talk about my weigh in because that was not good this week. As I mentioned, I'm about three or four days out from my cycle. One or two days out, I'm at my leanest. So I anticipate by maybe Sunday ish, this will all be gone. But I had a, quite a bit of a gain this week when I stepped on the scale. I actually gained one full pound this week. Now I will tell you that I can guarantee it wasn't a pound of fat. I can 90.9.9% .9 guarantee that none of that weight gain is fat. It's a weight fluctuation. I'm pretty sore from all of the activity that I did. And even more important than that, it's a fluctuation because of my body. I'm currently about to start my cycle. This is when my body retains fluid. That's why I felt bloated and kind of meh this week. I've been tired. I've been a little extra hungry. All of these are very, very normal leading up to my cycle. And this weight gain was most likely a cause of that because honestly, my food was really good this week. Also, also I had pizza for dinner and I can see the scale go up for a couple days post pizza because of all of the sodium. So it's most likely a mixture of all of these things. But I will tell you, I was a little shocked to step on the scale and see an entire one pound gain. And my first thought was, oh my God, I gained a pound. And then I was like, girl, get your life together. You did not gain a pound of fat. It's impossible. You're in a deficit or at maintenance. You moved your body. Think about the other things happening. And I quickly was brought right back down to earth and it didn't phase me at all. But I will tell you, I'm human. I'm just like you. Although I don't put all of my stock in the scale, the scale is still a measurement of success. And when I see a one pound weight gain, it, it gives me a little bit of pause, kind of freaks me out for a second. But I'm smart enough to know that it's not an actual weight gain. And I'm really interested to see what happens next week because I will be wrapping up my cycle or done with my cycle, kind of depending on when I start. And it'll be interesting to see what happens with that one pound. But I'm one pound up this week and it is what it is. So now I'm gonna hear from you guys. Let me know how was your week? How was your weigh-in? What do you think about strength training? Do you strength train? If you've tried train well, let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know everything down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And of course, if you enjoyed another weigh-in, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because we do a weigh-in video every Friday and I do upload five videos every week. Down in the description box, I will have nutrition coaching 
please get your macros and calories done. It will change your life. I don't have a single client that follows them that hasn't had weight loss success and kept it off long-term, myself included. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you want additional help, I am here to help you. I will also link TrainWell. Do yourself a favor, try it free for 14 days. As well as links and discounts to my other favorite things and come join our free Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye. Oh,